Hi, my name's Jo and I just want to give a big shout out and say hello to all my City Faith family and to let you all know how much I'm missing you. I hope you're all staying safe and following the guidance um, of being at home. Um, I know there's been a lot of changes and challenges to take on board throughout this uncertain time and only last week um, my daughter who's expecting her first baby was supposed to be having a baby shower and unfortunately that had to be cancelled because of the social distancing you know and we've been waiting for this time where we could come together and celebrate and get excited about a new baby coming and even when the baby comes which is only next month we're still not sure what's going to be happening and how we're going to be able to play that whether I'm even going to be able to visit and have cuddles and I'm going to have to wait and throughout this time, this is what we're all being asked to do. We're, we're having to wait. Now, the only positive thing and great thing about waiting for this baby is that at the end of it, we're going to have this blessing and this wonderful experience of a new grandchild. And that's the same with God. That sometimes we have to wait. We could be praying for something and expecting something, but we have to wait. But at the end of that waiting... God will reward us with a blessing. At the moment, I know we have to wait and we've been told to stay at home, which means we can't go out and we can't meet our friends. We can't go into town, go to the shops. We can't even go to McDonald's and buy a Big Mac or watch a movie on the cinema. Yet, we can go out to buy some groceries and that's what I did the other day. I was running out of a few things so I decided to go to my local supermarket and pick up a few things that I might need. And one of the things that I was really looking forward to is I really wanted to treat myself and buy a lemon muffin. And when I got down to the supermarket there's a queue and there's these black and yellow strips two metres apart that we had to stand behind and we had to queue. And we had to wait. We had to wait for others to come out of the store before we were able to move up the line a little bit more in order to wait to go into the store. And what I really noticed about when I was waiting was the behaviours of the other people around me. And I noticed that they were starting to get agitated at the waiting. That maybe the queue wasn't moving, maybe things weren't going as fast as what they wanted it to go. But people were starting to get frustrated. And as they got frustrated, they even started to let the next person to them know that they were frustrated. And people were starting to even get annoyed, start getting angry that they were having to wait in the queue to go into the store. Some people even dropped out of the queue. They didn't want to wait. They wanted to do things when they wanted to do and they wouldn't get in their own way and they wasn't able to do that. And they left the queue. Well, in time, yeah, we all moved up and were able to get into the queue and I was able to purchase the things that I wanted to purchase. I had to wait, but I was able to get the things I wanted and I got my reward. I got my m muffin to take home to have with my coffee. Well, I don't know about you, but I know what I was really noted was impatience turns to frustration and frustration turns to anxiety and anxiety turns to angry and angry turns to fear. Now, I don't know, maybe you're at home uh, waiting, waiting for your favourite TV programme to come on, um, but someone else is already watching the TV. So you're stood there and you're watching your, watching your watch, you know. It's nearly time for your programme to be on. And the other person's oblivious to your waiting. They're watching the end of their programme. But what starts to happen is you start to get frustrated. And you start to maybe huff and puff and cross your arms. Or maybe by now you've even demanded the remote control. Guys, impatient turns to frustration. And frustration turns to anxiety. And anxiety turns to fear. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard or a teacher or a parent or even a grandparent say patience is a virtue. And in the dictionary, virtue means behaving, showing a moral standard. Now, this means that we have to have the capacity to accept or tolerate delay without becoming annoyed or anxious. You know, I want to go back to what I just said. Impatience turns to frustration. Frustration to anxiety and anxiety turns to fear. God's not given us a spirit of fear. It's not of him. Fear takes us away, it separates us from God and prevents us from living a joyful spirit life. 
And in Galatians, it says, but the Holy Spirit produces the kind of fruit in our lives, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, when Esther was waiting with the, with the king, she asked her cousin to, to get others to pray and to fast for her. She wasn't captured in fear or allowing her thoughts to become anxious in the what ifs. No, she waited patiently. She waited for God to guide her, provide her with the right words at the right time. And what's amazing about this book of Esther is he's present. Every moment is a miracle. Now, we don't have to be like Peter and walk on water and test our faith. We just need to know in our hearts and confess it with our lips. Now, in Psalms 37, 7, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. So let's just shut our eyes and just have a little time in prayer. And I want to say, Lord Jesus, in this time of waiting for this lockdown to be lifted, help us to remain patient. Help us to be kind and thoughtful to others in our home and to let, let us think of ways to motivate one another in acts of love and good works. Prince of Peace, let your peace come upon us. Lift any anxiety or frustration into joy. Release your angels to surround us and protect us. May your miracle signs and wonders come before us. Help us, Lord Jesus, to draw close to you, to wait patiently. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you continue to be ever present in our lives, that you're working on our behalf for us, that we may reap rewards and blessings. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We lift your name high and we give you all the praise that you deserve. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you, City Faye, for listening to me. Have a blessed day. Stay safe.